Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today on Cooking with Corey, we're in a collaboration. Hashtag show us your fatty. Follow the hashtag, watch all the great channels that are going to be going on in this. Okay, it's time for the great unveiling of our delicious potatoes. You see how they look? Okay, while well, our blackstone's heating up over there, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, your steak. Pretty good dose of it on there. I use kosher salt. You can use sea salt. It really doesn't matter. As long as you get some seasoning on your steak. All right, my culinarians, we got her out of the Traeger pellet popper. And here she is, um, just cut into it. We'll just go right down the middle. I'm gonna do a little angle cut just to see what we got here. All right, we've cooked this through. It took me longer on this uh, new uh, Cuisinart countertop burner. It's not that powerful. I gotta find some more power around here. Okay, let's add some coleslaw mix to this that I got for 99 cents. Yes, I did. By gosh, because I'm a thrifty shopper. All right, I go about my making my fatties different. I just okay, everybody. It's time to plate up our kicked up hamburger gravy, baked potato. Actually, good, real good. This looks delicious, Corey. I think it needs a little more parsley. Before we fire up Chopmatic, I wanted to show you these fingerlings, and they are pretty cool. I don't know. This one right here is just a regular, like a white potato. You cut him open, and he just looks like a Yukon Gold, which is fine. These are a rose or a rose right here. You cut these open, and look at that. It's got a nice hue of red in it or pink. Really nice. And this one, purple, blue potato right here. Cut him open. This is what he looks like. Look at him. Yeah. Then we gotta cut up our spam. Here's our spam. And you just take it and you just wanna dice it. I'm just gonna show you one slice. We'll take one slice off. Uh, let's do this in threes. So we'll go like that. Two cuts. Moving around. Take your knife. Go through it however big a chunks you want. We've been stirring now over medium-high heat for five minutes. Let's uh, turn our tops over and 
see what we got for color. And uh, tell me that's not the best color you ever seen on the shop. Okay, right before we plate, I put it back on the heat. Pull down a little bit. One tablespoon of butter. You do always want to mount your sauce with some butter.